Do you want to modify your advanced settings on your dashboard by modifying the CSS portion of them? Stay tuned. Hello people and welcome to another episode of Everyday Smart. In our last episode, we covered how to create a dashboard, but we mentioned that we were going to be creating another tutorial on how to modify advanced settings on that dashboard. So today we're going to be showing you how you can modify the CSS portion of your dashboard so you can customize it even further. We're going to be doing this using Habitat Elevation and again, the app that we're going to be using is Dashboard. So let's click on Dashboards. Let's click on the dashboard we created the last time, ES control. And this is the dashboard that we created last time. So the first thing that we want to do now is to go to this gear icon. Again, in the last video, we explained all of these settings being shown in here, the grid, the options, the template. Now we're gonna go into the advanced section. And in this advanced section, what we want to do is go to this CSS tab. So when you click on it, you won't have anything. It is empty at the moment, but we're gonna be adding some lines of code here that will modify our dashboard even further. So let's get to it. So the first thing that I want to modify is some aspects of the tiles. So we have to type here, tile and then you open a bracket and when you open that you also have to make sure you close it as well and in between this portion is where we're going to be putting the different lines of code so right now we're specifying that for the tiles we want to do something so that's what we're doing here so the first thing that i want to do is to get rid of this black shadow behind the test so we can do that by typing the following so if we type that and we click save CSS you can see that the shadow is gone so that was the first step I'm showing you how to do that but in my case, I don't want to get rid of it. I just want to change the color of it. So I have to establish how big the shadow is going to be and then the color that I want. So if I save the CSS now, now you can see that a really small white shadow was added to the test. Okay, so that's the first advanced modification that I want to make. So the next thing that I want to modify is the font style. So in my case, I want my test to be bolded. So we just have to add this line. So we add that line and then we go and click on the save CSS and we can see that we got a bolded font now. Okay, so the third thing that I want to modify is, again, regarding the font style, but in this case it's not for making the font bold, but I want to make it italics. So let's add this line. And make sure that after every line of code that you put in here, you end it with a semicolon. If you don't do that, it's not gonna do anything. So now that we put this, click on Save CSS. You can see that it made the test italic. Now the other thing that I wanna do is to change the color for the test on all the tiles. So we can do that this way.
So you can do this different ways. In my case, I'm choosing to put the RGB value of the color that I want, and this is supposed to be 51 as well. And then we can go and click on Save CSS. And what that did is that it changed the color. Instead of black, it made it dark gray, but it's no longer black. Okay, so I'm done with the tiles portion of this. So we can get rid of that line. If you notice, I have these lines of code indented. What I did is that I put two spaces in here and that's just a visual aid for me to know, like to differentiate between those lines of code and where the class starts and ends. Okay, so we already modified the appearance of the tiles themselves. Now I want to modify the appearance of this header. So I want to modify this default header from the dashboard. So we have to start by establishing which class we're modifying. So dashboard dot header. And then we open the bracket as well and we make sure that we have a closing bracket. Okay, so First thing that I want to modify there is the color. So I want to change that background color of that header to something else. And we do that in my case this way. Okay, so that's the line of code that I needed. In my case, I put that because I don't want a solid color. I want a gradient. You can do a solid color. If you wanted a solid color, you would just put the RGB and the values that you want. But in my case, I want a linear gradient going from the top to the bottom. And these are the two colors. So it's gonna start at the top with this color and it's gonna end at the bottom with this other color. So let's go and click on the Save CSS. And as you can see, it starts with a shade of light blue and it ends with a shade of that same blue but a little bit darker. There are different options for this gradient, so you can do whichever option you want or the solid color again. Second thing that I want to change in my header is the test shadow. So you can either get rid of it or you can change the color. In my case, I want to change the color like in the previous case. So I'm going to copy this, paste it here. But in this case, I don't want it white. I want it black. So do black. Click on Save CSS. And what it did is that the shadow is a bit darker now and it doesn't extend too far from the test, but it's almost the same as we had it before. Third thing that I want to do in here is that I want to increase the font size of the header. So let's do that by typing this. Again, for this size, you have different options. You have small, medium, large, so you can choose whichever you like the most. In my case, I want the large. So let's click on Save CSS. And as you saw, the font size on the header is bigger now. Next thing that I want to modify in here is the weight. So I want to bold like in the tile. So I'm going to copy this portion here, paste it here as well. Click Save CSS. And now we have that header bold as well. Next thing, I also want that test to be italic. So I'm going to copy this portion here as well, paste it here, click on save CSS. Now the header is italics as well. And then the last thing I want to do is to modify the 
color. In my case, I don't need to do this, but I just want to show you so you can do it as well. So I want to modify the color of the test. So you can do this color and then you can do let's say black click on save css now you see that the color of that is black in my case i actually want it white which is how we had it but you can do whichever color you want just for demonstration purposes i'm gonna put red in here click on save css and as you can see it's changing those colors depending on the value you put and if you want um custom value you can also do this rgb in my case is i just want the straight white so you can just put the word white that's it for modifying the header so we can get out of that class area now the next area that i want to modify is the background color of the dashboard itself so if you go here into the grid and you want a color that is not shown in here and that you cannot get it by typing the HTML of the color here, if for some reason it's not working, you can also go to this advanced area, the CSS, and put it here. So the way to change that dashboard background color is by doing this. So the first thing we need to do is to establish the class that we're gonna be modifying. Again, open and close the brackets. And then we want to modify the background color. And then the specific one that I want is this one, which is a light gray, but it's different than the other grays that I have. So put it and click on save CSS and as you can see now I have a different gray in the background. Be aware that you can also do gradients here, you can do different things so just put the background color however you like it better. So let's close this and let's take a look at our new advanced modified dashboard. So this is what we have now. There are other modifications that you can do through this CSS editing option, but in my case, these were all the modifications that I wanted to show you for now. So you have a basic idea of the power behind this editing area on your dashboard. Well, I hope you liked the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and share with everyone you feel might be interested. I'm gonna keep making content like this. And as I have mentioned before, right now I'm focusing on Habitat, but pretty soon I'm gonna be making videos for smart things as well. And I'm gonna be making videos on how you can even create automations between Ring and Wise and Amazon Echoes and all of those things together. And you don't want to miss any of those videos. So hit the bell icon so you are notified every time I upload a new video. And thank you for watching.